When I was very young, my dentist had an overflowing treasure chest sitting in her waiting room. Once I finished my appointment, I would carefully look through all the items in search of the biggest and best treasure. Finding just the right plastic toy always made me feel like I had just won the lottery. That glorious treasure gave off the illusion that I was living the good life based on the items I possessed. That same illusion has a sneaky way of following us into adulthood. We've all been there, right? Well, our passage today, Matthew 6, 19 through 24, reminds us that focusing on earthly treasures is unwise. Our verses open in the middle of a sermon where Jesus is advising his audience, don't store up treasures on earth. Moss and rusts can destroy them and thieves can break in and steal them. Verse 19, for us, this is easy to understand. Despite secure banks, ring doorbells, insurance, and other safeguards, there's probably no place on earth where our treasure is 100% safe. Even underneath grandma's feather bed is at risk these days. Hackers and thieves abound. Most of us have had to exchange a hacked credit card for a new number. After sharing this wisdom, Jesus then gives a curious option to consider in the next verse. He continues by saying, Instead, store up your treasures in heaven, where moths and rust cannot destroy them, and thieves cannot break in and steal them. Hmm, it sounds like Jesus is suggesting we transfer money from our earthly bank accounts to the local branch of Bank of Heaven and take our tre treasure trust of earthly treasures and send them via FedEx up to God. What is he talking about? Before the confusion could even be addressed, Jesus finishes his point by saying this in verse 21, your heart will always be where your treasure is. We can only serve one master and there is only one master worth serving. He's reminding us he really wants the treasure that means the most to him, our hearts. Our hearts follow whatever we treasure and he wants us to treasure him just as he treasures us. Jesus is not giving financial advice here. He doesn't want earthly treasures to master our hearts. When our hearts are focused on him, the size of our earthly treasure is not relevant. It matters not. What matters is how our hearts are aligned with his. Our treasure is him and his treasure is us. Nothing is richer, better, or worth more. Who or what is the master of your heart? Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.